In this CSS video, I'm going to show you how to use Display None to make things disappear from your page. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. You can pick any property you want or any element you want and just hide it, make it disappear. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make this big paragraph disappear right here. Just going to go into our style block, type in P as a selector, open and close the curly brackets, and type in display, none. Refresh the page, and it's gone. And the space, or the, the whole space is missing now. That, like, just the whole thing disappeared like it was never there. There's another option that you have available to you. It's called visibility hidden which makes the space still be consumed, but you can't see the content. So you'll see what I mean in a second. Put the paragraph back. Now we're gonna use visibility hidden. And we see that the content is gone, but it still consumes the space. So you have those two options to make things disappear. You'll probably select the one that's appropriate to what your needs are, but you have those two available. And display none is quite often used in conjunction with JavaScript. If you had a toggle, for example, you would set a certain element. You'd have two elements that you want to toggle. One of them will be set to display none, and there'll be a button for someone to click. And then when they click the button, the display none switches to the first element, and the second element is then displayed. So you can switch back and forth or toggle. And that's done via JavaScript. It's beyond the scope of this video, but that's an application for the display none option just in case you're wondering what the heck you'd use it for. So that's how easy it is to use display none in your CSS code and hide HTML elements on the page. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.